Hello everyone, it's Deb Floros for Jesse James Beads and I'm making a really fun necklace project. I'm using the Wednesday Strand, the Moonlight and Mystery Bead Mix, just a few pieces from that, and the JJB Enamel Dangle Chain in the high visibility color. Now I love the pattern of the Wednesday Strand, so I pulled that strand off with my hand after cutting the cord and just pulled it off so I could keep the strand as close to um, what it was like when it was on the strand as possible. Then I'm just going to take some stringing wire and string on my beads. And I did add some seed beads of my own and some uh, daisy spacers to assist in the process. And with this little fun bead, I'm adding a seed bead to the wire as I'm putting it through that bead. And I'll show you that again towards the end of the project. I'm also faced with this little um, large hole bead and I'm gonna use some of the spacers from the um, bead mix, but I'm also adding in a smaller spacer of my own and then a seed bead. And I'm gonna string on my beautiful enamel chain. Um, I'm going to string on with one of the little tiny rings at the end of the chain. And I'm, I'm going to create a little frame around one of the larger beads. So I'm only gonna use two of the dangles around that one silver bead. Then I'm going to continue on with my pattern, which is usually uh, a seed bead in between each bead. And then I'm going to string on the other end. Now this giant focal bead is so beautiful. That one needs a few more dangles to frame that one up. I ended up using four dangles there. So you'll just need to carefully cut your chain and it will depend on what's at the end of each piece. So I've got a little cascade of that chain and I think it looks so beautiful. Here's the shot of that quatrefoil bead. It's got a little void in the center. So I string through one side of the bead, I put my seed bead on and then I pull that wire back very carefully and string it through the other end. Now this is what the piece looks like in the strung section and now I'm going to cut the rest of my chain that I have left and I'm going to cut it in exactly two pieces that are alike. And I'm gonna crimp my beading wire right to the chain. And I'm gonna leave um, a little bit of a dangle at the end of it so that it will add a little bit of an accent up there. I'm gonna use some French wire and a crimp and crimp that off on one end and then crimp it off on the other end. And then all I need to do is add a lobster claw clasp. Oh my gosh, I love this necklace. It is so much fun. I love the bright, bright illuminating yellow. I love the dark black. It's perfect for the spooky season if you like that. Um, but it's such a fun necklace with lots of great movement. And I think this piece is really, really, really fun to make as well. You can find all of these pieces and parts at jessiejamesbeads.com and I hope you'll give it a try. It's a lot of fun. Thanks so much for watching.